Yo, what's going on, guys? Boy, Ooze back in once again with another manga reaction. Um, this is a first because I've actually never done this, but you guys are aware that I uh, have been following my content for years and years and years, or maybe you've come across some of my previous Berserk videos in the past. But yes, this is for the very first time a Berserk reaction. So seeing that manga reactions um, could potentially be something that's a mainstay here on the channel. Um, just going off of the the previous manga reactions that we've done so far, we've done Boruto and Dragon Ball Super. Berserk is one of my all-time favorite series ever. And we've been waiting for a very long time. I even went out of my way previously. Um, I did a skit about, you know, their, you know, where's the new Berserk chapter? And here we are finally with chapter 360. Chapter 359 came out sometime last year. And it's crazy that we have other manga right now that come out month to month, week to week. And sometimes it feels like forever just for those chapters to come out. Imagine being a hardcore Berserk fan, okay? So, um, with all that being said, this is chapter 360. I literally have no idea um, what's about to happen. Um, I, didn't, I, I, I was planning on reading 359 again to kind of refresh my memory a little bit. Um, I do know that Casca does have her... Um, like her well-being back in order now. That's the last thing I really remember. Um, and she's kind of like talking with all the other characters. So um, forgive me if I do forget some of the things that have already happened, but it has been a long time. And as soon as I saw that this was translated, I literally was like, okay, I need to stop everything that I'm doing right now. Um, as you can see, I've been cleaning my room. So, all right, anyways, let's get right into it. At the end of the journey... At the end of the long journey, what becomes of the two who were to be reunited? The long-awaited latest chapter. That's it's literally every freaking time Miura decides to come out with a new chapter. Presented by M M Miura Kentaro with Studio Gaga. Okay, so... So it says right here on the sticker, it says, The Young Animal Zero Magazine, Miura Kintaro, Original Concept, Producer, Studio Gaga Production, Duranki, the popular ongoing serialization. So I believe Duranki is still uh, going on. Duranki, if I remember correctly, is is, a, is an alternate manga that has nothing to do with Berserk, I think. That's either done by Miura or his assistants um, that are running Duranki. So it's another series apparently still popular and next issue for that is may 9th so there you go so okay here we go we have a, a little recap so that's good so the chapter is 360 it's called cherry tree garden the story so far on elf island the flower storm monarch's magic has woken casca from her long nightmare she is still tormented by traumatic memories and cannot face guts while the party rests, Shirk and Farnes seek out new power in a place of learning. The Skull Knight appears, watching that, watching from afar. Okay, so that is the story right now. So, okay, so this is Farnes. Take it easy. Don't gulp it down. So it looks like Casca's like drinking something. She's in bed. Thank you. I made another scene. Never mind that. This is uh, Shirk, I think, believe, right? You ju you only just awoke from a long, long nightmare. Overdoing it is absolutely forbidden for now. So Casa goes, so she's sweating right now. When something reminds me of the old days, it's likely, it's like I'm suddenly dragged back to that place, to that time. It's right in front of my eyes. Uh-oh, she's about to like throw up. Miss Casca, don't, you'll, his, his face, his voice. I can't. A dread shadow covers me. Wow. Like, she's really fucked up from this. Miss Casca, she will be fine. I am just letting her sleep. Oh, okay, so... Uh, I forget this character's name. She's one of the witches. It looks like she, like, kind of cast some kind of spell to allow her to relax, and she's, like, passed out now. Now, nah, return to your studies. I will watch over her. I understand your concern, but isn't burning soothing incense and letting her rest the best you can do for her? But isn't there something you must do? So Farnes is like really concerned. So she's like looking over Casca, but you know, she pats her on the head. Okay. She goes, yes. I forget. Farnes is like, 
she she's like trying to become like she's like trying to learn magic i believe from what i can remember oh wow look and then casca like grabs onto her like arm or no that's like her it's like her coat she trusts greatly in you doesn't she a security blanket perhaps she i'm not right right to celebrate your new life of magical enrichment just my old cast offs ah they're here oh okay cool so it seems like out of pure instinct casca's body like immediately tried to grab onto farnas so that's that's, that's kind of cool okay so so far it doesn't really look like this chapter is going to be too crazy impactful it kind of sucks but i mean we'll we'll see what happens we're only like a few pages in anyway oh wow so they dressed her up so she now she's got the whole witch get up that's pretty dope lady farnas at last um the hat doesn't feel quite right you'll get used to it with time it suits you too flashy for your plain jane self <laughs> says the uh the little elf okay oh a neo what a neophyte a neophyte? I don't even know if that's the right way to say it. Shouldn't wear such a fine dress woven of cherry blossoms. It's too much pressure. It weighs down on me. The clothes are light, though. Since Dan Danan so kindly gave it to you, you have no choice but to wear it. So you have come, initiates. So this is like a new character. She looks old. She's like an old witch. Sincere apologies for our tardiness and on our first day. Good enough. Danan told me of your accentuating circumstances. First, we would know the strength of your abilities, the extent of your magics and rights, the nature of your training, strength of my abilities. I, I have only just begun studying the arts. I don't have much to show for it. No need to take off your hat. Okay, so... Farnes is, like, very nervous right now. She's, like, not in her element. The array of the four cardinal points, there's that. Well, then, let's see it. Master, here, don't embarrass sheer pupil number one. You can do it. It'll be fine. Uh, it is your array of the, of the four cardinal points that has protected everyone. I promise that. All done. Let's go. Okay, I shall begin. Hold on. Is she not going to put down a magic circle? Uh-oh, now she's about to get flamed. Now there's all these, like, witches and, like, other magicians. Like, these, they're, like, all youngins. Maybe she doesn't know that circle. That lady's an amateur, right? No staff either. And she means to practice magic as an adult? This is why we don't take in people from the outside island. From outside the island. You think she can do it? The array, I mean? No way. At most, she might conjure up some faint light. Oh, they they all shut up. She put out some crazy magic aura right here. She go, They all say, it's, it's huge. So pretty. Oh, it's so clear. Varnus. You say you have not aspired to master the magical arts for very long, but how long is that exactly? Oh, uh, I've been doing this for maybe three months. The array of the four cardinal points in three months as an adult? It usually takes a year. So learning to use magic after growing up isn't impossible? Wow. Uh, amazing. That took me three years to conjure. How did your companion do it? Now they're all trying to... Now they're trying to freaking gas. Uh, she's been put through some pretty exceptional circumstances. She had a teacher of extraordinary skill. Lady Farnes, I'm conflicted. He must be... A, he must have some kind of attraction. Probably. So now there's like some other witch lady up in the... Up in the trees. All right. We wowed him. Next up, Shirk. Can you show us an art? Yes. Oh, here, cause here comes Shirk. Shirk is the master that Farnes was referring to before. Then I will perform a spirit summoning. I will call a spirit of darkness from that from the hollow of that tree. 
Oh, there's a spirit in there? Do you sense anything? No. Besides, might not a spirit of darkness be dangerous? Yeah, like, what the... F why, why, would, why would you do that? This is about to cause some problems. I can already see it. So now she's, like, chanting something with her eyes closed. She, too, a summoning without a circle. Okay, so now her, like, ethereal, like, being, like, left her body. Now she's going into that hollow, um, into the into the tree. Oh, wow, there was, like, some eyes that showed up. Oh, now they're freaking out. They see, like, a shadow. Oh, my goodness. I am a nameless shadow, a gaping dark. Oh, snap. It, like, took her by. That's what that's talking. The gloomy girl's wish. This I grant, bring one fruit to to staff. Oh my god. Wait, what? And then it started, it like took a bite out of the dude's apple, I think. Now it's like taking some kind of like a, a, like a, a, a figure. It's dark, can't see anything. Now everyone's like freaking out, like running away. What the hell? My apple. <laughs> that's right. Tremble in fear. That's the that's the little elf. Wow. Nicely done. Alright, so now the spirit went away. I'm sorry, are you okay? It, yeah, but my apples. Hold on, Shirk. What's your deal? Calling forth a spirit without a magic circle? And that was a spirit of darkness, wasn't it? Why was there something so dangerous here? I have formed the links in my mind. Magic circles are just a means to that end. Combat experience puts you on another level. That's what the uh, what the the little elf says. On our journey, there was no time to carve runes or draw small icons. When we were in danger, I had to develop this skill to overcome the obstacles we faced. Very true. They they've been through some shit. It's the same with my arts. I had to draw on the strength of whatever spirit was sleeping in the place I was standing at the time. Perhaps that's how I developed a sense for finding them. Powerful spirits are dangerous, yes, but that is also why they could come to my aid many times. I even sought out the strength of a spirit of darkness once. But this one is harmless. You are always out here studying and practicing while it watches from its hollow. It seems to have grown a bit envious. A shut-in, huh? It would delight in the offering of an apple, maybe a game of tag. I guess I I was it, huh? Ho ho, magnificent, says this old lady. To the residents of this place, grown accustomed to peace, visitors such as you can be quite stimulating. Everyone, you would do well to cultivate connections to the outside world and study intently the practical applications of magic. Yes, sir. We should offer something in return. Let's see. Um, in that case, Master Archmage, is there... Uh, there is one thing. What, pray tell? What, pray tell? Would you not bestow us with magics of healing, specifically the means to mend the soul? Farness. Sorcerer and nurse, huh? That's very like you. Hmm. Medicinal practice has originally was originally a mage's duty. And we do have someone perfectly suited for healing the heart. Here I am. I think that was the... Oh. Oh, Danan. Okay, so that was the other um, witch from earlier. If that's what you wish for, I'll pitch in. Let's all do our best for Casca's sake. Uh, and help me with the sweeping sometimes, please. <laughs> House and the housekeeper, okay. Now, Sheer, yes. Beyond the spirits native to the natural world, there is a deeper realm. Would you have an interest in mingling minds with the demon? Spelled D-A-E-M-O-N. That's like demon ex machina spelling. Or maybe it's daemon? I don't know. I, I'm going to say demon for now. Unbelievable. Usually, you're only initiated when you become a fully-fledged mage, right? Demon. Yeah, say yes, Shirk. The demon do not belong solely to the hereafter. In life, in life they were human. Heroes and sorcerers among them. 
She who aided you in your dream, my old friend, is one of them. <gasps> oh, absolutely. So her old friend was, I believe, her master. And she, she's, she's passed on already, which is, which is pretty dope. This is uh, Shirk we're talking about. Uh, absolutely, you humble me very well. Again, it's nice to have you here, Shirk. Yes, I'm impressed. You're an outsider and a grown-up to boot, but wow. Oh, thank you. All right, so it looks like... Here we go. I was wondering if we we're going to see fucking Guts all chapter. Shit. So Guts is like... He's pra he's swinging his sword around. He's like practicing on up atop a mountain right now, looking over the sea. How scenic. Wow, look at this art. Damn, I miss freaking Miura's art style, bro. He's like sweating, he's panting. He's thinking back to how Casca's reaction of him. The hell do I do now, he says. You bear witness to the end of your journey. Ooh, the Skull Knights! Dude, this art, bro. I miss Kintaro Miura's art so much. This art is like unlike any other mangaka, for real. So detailed, finessed, it's amazing. It is not always a happy thing. And that's the end. It says to keep to be continued. Chapter 360. It came and went. And no mention as to when 361 will be made. Well, it was really nice to see... And the, the uh, you know, in addition to the story, it was nice to see Shirk and Farness getting some light. It was nice to see Casca at the beginning. And it's also nice to see that there's a possibility of them continuing their um, magical enhancements in order to further help Casca heal. Um, I, I think that's really cool. And it's really cool to see how strong they are magically with their talents and abilities. Um, and to end this chapter, I mean, it, 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 it kind of brings forth another question in, in, in what exactly does Guts do now? Because now that he's pretty much saved Casca in a sense, now I feel like the journey ex itself is only just beginning even more. Because if you think about it, now that he has Casca, and Casca is basically like she can't even face him yet, now the journey now turns into being able to get Casca to face Guts. So it's like, and then here comes a Skull Knight. So you can, we can only hope, we can only hope that by the time the next chapter comes, which seeing as how the pattern is, we'll be lucky. If we get another chapter this year, you would think with the quarantine, Miura has all the time in the world to just pump these out every week, but no, every month at least, right? But next year is looking pretty cool, man. Can't wait for next year. Skull Knight guts conversation. We'll see exactly what the Skull Knight has to say. Because, you know, right here he does say, you bear witness to the end of your journey. It is not always a happy thing. And he kind of did warn him about this um, earlier on. I do remember that in the story. He did warn him that, you know, that just because he's, you know, chasing after Casca and he's he's trying to help mend her in her, you know, like her condition that she was in. Um, he even warned me, said that, the ending that you seek might not be the ending that you get. That's like kind of paraphrasing. That's from what I can remember. But Skull Knight is very interesting. Um, I'd like to know more about Skull Knight because he comes and goes. And it's not exactly 100% clear as to what he, he is. I feel like to a degree, Skull Knight might have been guts in his own time. Many, 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 many years ago. And he's trying to like kind of guide and navigate guts into like a like on a weird path to you know see if he will make the same mistakes that skull knight might might have once made in years and years past in a previous story it would be really cool to see what the skull knight was prior to him being the skull knight but 
I mean, at this point, I am just... Like, I don't even know if I'm itching for more Berserk. I, I definitely am. But, like, just being the fan, being a fan of this series for as long as I have, it's it's been a pretty, like, numbing experience. Because when you're brand new to the series, it's, like, the best thing in the world. You get to literally read chapter after chapter and go in reading as much as you want, as little as you want as a time, salvaging it, you know, being, like and captivated in it especially if you're buying the manga you guys can barely see it up in up above me right there but i have been ongoing collecting each of the deluxe editions because i already own like the majority of the regular volumes and having the reprints in that format is you know super dope it's really cool it's like three in one volumes really you know awesome books and if you're reading them you know from the beginning brand new to the series like i said it's like um it's like it's a great story it's a lot of craziness that goes on, but man, like, once you get caught up, then you really start to feel the the struggle, because I think within the last few years, and I got into Berserk late. I've always wanted to get into Berserk, um, at, like when I when I heard about it when I was younger, like in like when I was like a teenager, but like I didn't actually start reading Berserk. Until maybe I was like, like 20, like I'm 26 now. I have to say, I was probably like, maybe like when I was like 23, right? Like, it doesn't even seem like that long ago, but I'm turning 27 this year. So like, within that amount of time, we've only gotten a few chapters out of those years. Now, you know what? Maybe it was like 20, 20, 22. I don't know. I don't know. But, man, I mean, it's great to have this chapter. It's great to see Miura, um, you know, and his art style. It's, it's amazing. I might I might have to check out that Duranki, which is that other that other show, other series that I believe is his, his assistants that are working on it. And they have very similar art styles. So um, I believe that's another magical type of... Not really like this, but if the art style is any similar, I could definitely find some kind of appreciation in it. And it still has like some kind of ongoing serialization, so that's something to look for, look at, look, look onto, I guess. Because it's not like Berserk has any like side story Johns to go to, and it's not like there's an anime that's worth talking about, in, unless you're talking about the Netflix or the '97 anime that we've already seen, Crunchyroll. Don't talk about that. But yeah, in all in all, pretty okay chapter. Has some questions. Got some light on some other characters. Um, I just, it's like it sucks because I feel like I'm at I'm at a point now where I can't I feel like I can't even get excited for the next chapter because that might not even happen for another year and a half, two years. <laughs> so, one can only hope that the release schedule improves immensely one can only hope that's all i really ask for but let me know what you guys thought about the chapter in the comments below like share subscribe me up on twitter all that good stuff the supporting links to myself and the channel as always are going to be in the description take care of you, yeah take care of yourselves guys have a good one may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on the main channel stay clean stay healthy stay fresh and stay inside i'll see you guys next time